They have discovered strong evidence for the existence of a new force of nature. It begins not with the collision of particles or the echo of a supernova, but with a man, a single mind caught in a storm of war and logic. Alan Turing, a name you may recognize for cracking the Enigma code, but this time his legacy has whispered back through time with something far more profound, something no one saw coming. Through a quiet, meticulous set of data patterns, patterns pulled from the edge of the quantum abyss, scientists now believe they've uncovered something that could upend our understanding of reality itself. A fifth force of nature, not science fiction, not a theory scribbled on the chalkboards of dreamers, but real, and maybe even older than time. For centuries, we've lived within the framework of four fundamental forces. Gravity, which pulls apples to the Earth and keeps the moon in orbit. Electromagnetism, the reason our hearts beat and lights turn on. And then, deep within the atom, the strong and weak nuclear forces holding matter together and tearing it apart. These forces have been the scaffolding of all physics, the rules of the cosmic game. But what if they weren't alone? What if there was another player at the table, a hidden force, influencing the universe in ways we've only just begun to notice? Imagine staring into the vast darkness of space and realizing the laws you trusted may only be part of a bigger, stranger story. That's where we are now. And the path that led us here stretches all the way back to Turing, not just the code breaker, not just the father of computers, but the quiet analyst who believed in patterns where others saw noise. His mathematical methods, long overlooked, have been resurrected. Only this time, they've been pointed at quantum experiments, where particles behave like whispers and riddles, rather than things. When modern physicists fed reams of particle behavior data into analytical models inspired by Turing's logic, they didn't expect anything unusual. They expected noise. But what they got was different. They got a signal, subtle, irregular, and inexplicable something that didn't match what any of the known forces should be doing. Particles were behaving in ways no one could predict, not by gravity, not by electromagnetism, not by anything we'd seen before. It was like watching a ghost pull on the strings of reality. The implications hit like a shockwave, a new force hidden in the shadows of the known, one that might be affecting everything from the smallest quarks to the largest galaxies. Some scientists even began whispering a tantalizing thought. What if this was the long-sought key to dark matter, the mysterious invisible mass that makes up most of our universe but refuses to interact with light? Maybe it wasn't matter at all. Maybe it was a force, a fifth force. But then the story got even stranger because this force, this unknown whisper in the data, wasn't just tinkering with quantum particles. It seemed to stretch outwards into the vastness of space. Its fingerprints were showing up in the cosmic expansion in the strange push and pull of galaxies, in the very breath of the universe itself. And suddenly the question changed. This wasn't just about explaining quantum quirks. This might explain why the universe is expanding faster and faster. For years, we've blamed that on dark energy, a placeholder name for something we don't understand. But what if dark energy isn't a separate thing at all? What if it's just another face of this fifth force? What if this hidden influence has been guiding the cosmos from the beginning? Invisible, omnipresent, powerful. Now take a breath and let that sink in. Because if this is real, if what Turing's ghost in the machine has found is true, then we are standing at the threshold of a new reality. One where everything we thought we understood might be redefined. From the curve of light around a black hole to the infinite mystery of time. The math doesn't lie. And the math... Turing's math is showing us something we didn't expect to find. So who exactly was Alan Turing, and why is his legacy echoing through modern physics like a revelation? You already know him as the wartime genius who helped defeat the Nazis by cracking the Enigma machine, but his mind reached far beyond the battlefield. After the war, Turing became obsessed with questions no one had the courage to ask yet. Could machines think? Could we predict the patterns of life? of biology, of nature itself, using only numbers. He dreamed of machines that weren't just tools, but minds. He imagined data not just as information, but as a map, an encoded story hiding beneath the surface of reality. 
His ideas were too radical for his time. They were dismissed, buried. Turing himself was humiliated, persecuted, chemically castrated by his own government for being gay. And then, in 1954, he died under mysterious circumstances, an apple laced with cyanide beside his bed. Some say it was suicide. Others whisper it wasn't. But now, decades later, the very tools he left behind are unearthing truths he never got to see. His data analysis techniques, reborn in an era of quantum computing, are pulling signals from noise, just like he did with the Enigma. Only this time, the code isn't from a German cipher machine. It's from the fabric of the universe itself, and the code seems to be breaking, because this fifth force doesn't follow the rules. It doesn't care about the neat linear models we've spent centuries building. It curves where things should be straight. It pulses where things should be still. It may be the reason why galaxies drift apart with impossible speed. It may be the whisper behind the curtain of quantum weirdness. It may even be the force that breathes fire into the equations of life. It's not just physics anymore. It's mythology in motion. The return of Turing's ghost. The secret fifth element. The force that was always there, just outside our reach. And we've only just begun to understand what it wants to tell us. They thought they knew the rules. Four fundamental forces gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear interactions. Those were the pillars. They shaped stars, governed particles, built galaxies, and stitched together the very structure of space and time. But now something has shifted, not in a grand explosion or cosmic upheaval, but in data, subtle patterns hiding in numbers, quietly pointing to a truth that had always been there, just beyond the threshold of comprehension. And the key to that door? Alan Turing. Decades after his death, Turing's work, his raw, elegant methods of analysis, has come back, like a message in a bottle launched into a future only he could glimpse. His algorithms, once used to crack Nazi codes, are now being applied to something far more enigmatic, the quantum fabric of reality itself. At first, the anomalies seemed like noise, errors in the data, perhaps. But the more researchers peeled away, the more consistent the pattern became. Particles weren't behaving as they should. Something else was at work, something invisible, something powerful. In high-energy particle collisions and cosmic radiation readings, scientists found effects that no known force could explain. Not gravity, not electromagnetism, not the nuclear forces. These irregularities were too precise, too deliberate, like footprints in a dark forest. And when Turing's techniques were layered into the analysis, the picture started to sharpen. A fifth force, undeniable, disruptive, emerged from the static. A force that didn't match anything in the standard model, and yet made too much sense to ignore. This wasn't just another line in an equation. If true, this force could explain the invisible scaffolding of the universe, what we call dark matter. It could be the ghost in the machine, the unseen hand shaping the cosmos. And more, this fifth force might not be limited to the quantum world. There's growing evidence it stretches out, touching galaxies, accelerating the expansion of space itself. For years, we blamed dark energy. But what if that wasn't an energy at all, but a force? And suddenly, everything is back on the table. Our understanding of mass, motion, space, and time might need rewriting. Turing's old theories weren't just about machines thinking, they were about pattern, structure, the deep logic of reality. Now his fingerprints are showing up at the heart of the universe. But what is this force? That remains the question, and perhaps the greatest mystery of our time. Some theories suggest it's tied to particles that haven't yet been discovered, unknown messengers of this hidden interaction. Others believe it's a shadow force, one that connects our universe to others, a thread woven through the multiverse. Still more speculate it could be linked to quantum gravity, the elusive unifying theory that bridges the microscopic world with the grand architecture of space. Whatever it is, this force refuses to be boxed in. It doesn't obey our old ideas. It doesn't fit neatly into existing categories. And that alone is a clue. It means we're standing at the edge of something entirely new. And while the math is being checked and rechecked, and instruments recalibrated and repointed, the truth feels closer than it ever has.
The possibility that one man's ideas, born in war and genius, could one day expose a secret held by the stars themselves? That's the kind of story science rarely gets to tell. But this is just the middle of it. The breakthrough is real, but the meaning is only beginning to unfold. And if what lies ahead is even half as strange as what we found so far, we're going to need a new language for it, a new map of reality. The announcement didn't come with fireworks, no press conference, no glowing headlines. Just a quiet paper, peer-reviewed and uploaded to an obscure physics archive. But within hours, the right people saw it. The fifth force, predicted, isolated, and now, according to the data, activated. Not in theory, not in simulation, but in controlled conditions, replicated by at least three independent labs. A force that defied gravity, bent trajectories, shifted energy balances. Not randomly, but precisely, predictably, measurably. And then came the strange part. In one experiment, researchers tried to contain the interaction within an isolated chamber, but the effect didn't stay put. Instruments outside the lab, sealed off, disconnected, began to fluctuate in sync. As if the force wasn't limited by barriers, as if it responded to something else, not distance, not mass, but information, or perhaps attention. That's when they brought in the AI. Turing's algorithms had been the spark, but now modern neural networks trained on quantum data sets were detecting something uncanny, a pattern of feedback. The more they observed the force, the more it responded. It was almost as if the act of observation wasn't just collapsing wave functions. It was steering them, not passively, but interactively, as if the universe was listening back. One system, codenamed Janus, reported a recursive anomaly. The force predicted the observer's next move before it happened, not probabilistically, accurately, again and again. A subtle shift in field strength before an instrument was adjusted. An oscillation syncing with EEG patterns from a technician. What began as physics was quickly becoming something else. Philosophy, or worse, theology. Some panicked. A few even walked away. Others pushed forward, daring to ask, Is this force intelligent? That word, intelligent, caused chaos in the scientific community. It didn't mean sentient. It didn't mean divine, but it did mean organized, reactive, and possibly aware. Could this force be a hidden architecture, not just of energy, but of communication? A bridge between physical law and consciousness itself? One physicist summed it up best. If this is real, we're not just rewriting physics. We're reclassifying reality. Governments took notice. Fast. Projects were classified. Labs were locked down. Data streams that once flowed freely to the public went dark, but some leaks got out, and they hinted at something extraordinary. Experiments where human intention alone seemed to nudge the force. No machines, just directed thought. Subtle but consistent, as if the universe had been waiting all along for us to notice. And then came the final twist. Archived cosmic microwave background data, ancient light from the birth of the universe, was reprocessed using Turing's filter. In it, they found echoes, not noise, not randomness, but signal, a repeating structure encoded in the oldest light we've ever observed, a pulse, a rhythm, a message. We don't know what it says, not yet, but it matches the behavior of the fifth force in real time, as if whatever started the universe left instructions or a conversation and for the first time in history, we're listening on the right frequency. It's not about fear. It's about responsibility. A force like this could solve our energy crisis or become a weapon. It could unlock interstellar travel or tear open space-time. It depends on what we choose next. So here we are, standing at the edge of the known, peering into something vast, ancient, and newly awake in our instruments and minds a fifth force, waiting not just to be measured, but understood, and maybe, just maybe, it's been trying to understand us all along.